Welcome to the new normal for many Vermont farmers. It does feel bizarre. Sarah and James Donegan own and operate Trillium Hill Farm in Hinesburg. The land has been in James's family since 1801. It's safe to say, in all that time, there's never been anything like this. Okay, great, I'll go grab it. Today is the fifth pickup of our virtual farm stand, is what we're calling it. We have a CSA, we sell our veggies to restaurants, and then we also have a farm stand that's open most of the year. Because of COVID, we, you know, restaurants are not open. So that was a very significant portion of our income for our vegetables. So we kind of had to pivot quickly and figure out what are we going to do with all these greens. With a couple of clicks, the Donigans added a virtual farm stand button to the farm's website, and the rest is history. The response has been incredible. Our community has really rallied around us, and it's been at times, even an overwhelming response. You bet. We're Thank super, you. super grateful for it. Enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, <laughs> it's so nice. It's been outstanding. Just the the demand for local food right now is wild, and and that's a great problem to have. <laughs> Our first week was 40 orders. The second week was 70 something. The third week we hit just about 100 orders. That felt way crazy to us. The last two weeks have been around 70, 80 orders, and that's felt really good. Orders have to be placed online by Wednesday. Sarah, James, and daughter Ruby fill orders on Saturday morning with freshly harvested greens and other products from local farms and bakeries. From nine to noon, customers drive up, open a door or a trunk, and a member of the family puts a box inside the car. It's quick, efficient, and safe. Tara Gravelin heard about what was going on at Trillium Hill Farm and quickly signed up. I'm picking up some fresh veggies from the farm, some goodies. Um, rather than going to the grocery store, I thought I would support their farm and get the local um, good food. I've done CSAs before and rather than going to the grocery store and buying packaged stuff, this is fresh and I know exactly where it's coming from. Getting the food right from the source is great. An established web presence and online store gave the Donigans a head start. But the key to this transition is the relationship between the farmers and their customers. Of course, thank you. I don't think people realize that it's those one-on-one -on -one relationships with consumer and producer that really sustain small farms in Vermont. And this is a real opportunity to create new relationships with customers and for cu customers to understand the quality and connection that they're getting with their food. Thank you, Cindy. Take care. The one thing that I have just been so amazed and impressed with, all the farmers and food producers out here who are adjusting so quickly and I hope that it becomes something that is normal. You know, I hope that this wild influx in local food interest becomes the standard. Yeah, I, that, is, that is my big hope for a silver lining in all of this. Hi, Joanne. Online orders and a drive through farm stand. Leave it to Vermont farmers to become productive in a pandemic. See ya. It's one normal that's nothing new. In Hinesburg, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.